What is the difference between stress and anxiety? There is a distinction between stress and anxiety, contrary to popular belief. Stress is caused by the pressures we feel in life. When we are pushed by work or any other task that puts undue pressure on our minds and bodies, adrenaline is released. High levels of the hormone can cause depression, an increase in blood pressure, and other negative changes and effects. Anxiety is one of these negative effects. With anxiety, fear overcomes all emotions, including worry and apprehension, turning a person into a recluse with a bad case of the jitters, chest pains, dizziness, shortness of breath, and panic attacks are also symptoms. A pre-existing stress-causing factor or stress that causes stress. Anxiety is stress that persists after the source of the stress has been removed. Any situation or thought that causes you to feel frustrated, angry, nervous, or anxious can cause stress. What is stressful for one person may not be stressful for another. Anxiety is characterized by apprehension or fear, and it is almost always accompanied by a sense of impending doom. The source of your unease is not always known or recognized, which can add to your distress. Stress is the way our bodies and minds react to something that disrupts our normal balance in life. For example, the response we feel when we are scared or threatened is an example of stress. Adrenaline, a hormone released by our adrenal glands during stressful events, activates our body's defense mechanisms, causing our hearts to pound, blood pressure to rise, muscles to tense, and pupils to dilate. An increase in your pulse rate is a primary indicator of increased stress. However, a normal pulse rate does not necessarily indicate that you are not stressed. Constant aches and pains, palpitations, anxiety, chronic fatigue, crying, over or under eating, frequent infections, and a decrease in sexual desire are all symptoms of stress. Of course, we do not always react to such extremes when under stress, and we are not always under such great duress or fear when confronted with a stressful situation. Some people are more prone to stress than others. For some, even simple daily decisions seem insurmountable. Choosing what to eat for dinner or what to buy at the store appears to be a monumental challenge for them. On the other hand, there are those who appear to thrive under stress, becoming highly productive as a result of the force of pressure. According to research, women who have children have higher levels of stress-related hormones in their blood than women who do not have children. Does this imply that women who do not have children are not stressed? Certainly not. It means that women who do not have children may not experience stress as frequently or to the same extent as women who do have children. This means that it is especially important for women with children to schedule time for themselves. Once your stress level is reduced, you will be in a better frame of mind to help your children and meet the daily challenges of being a parent. Anxiety, on the other hand, is a state of being unsettled. Everyone feels it when confronted with a stressful situation such as before an exam or an interview or during a worrying period, such as illness. It is normal to feel anxious when confronted with a difficult or dangerous situation, and mild anxiety can be a positive and beneficial experience. Anxiety, on the other hand, interferes with normal life for many people. Excessive anxiety is frequently linked to other psychiatric disorders, such as depression. Anxiety is considered abnormal when it lasts for a long time or is severe, occurs in the absence of a stressful event, or interferes with daily activities such as going to work. Physical Symptoms of Anxiety Physical symptoms of anxiety are caused by the brain sending messages to various parts of the body in order to prepare for the fight-or-flight response. The heart, lungs, and other organs work more quickly. Stress hormones, such as adrenaline, are also released by the brain. Excessive anxiety is commonly manifested by the following symptoms, dry mouth, diarrhea, palpitations, or rapid heartbeat, insomnia, anger, or irritability, able to concentrate, fear of being labeled as crazy and depersonalization. Anxiety can be triggered in a variety of ways. Obviously, having stress in your life can cause you to have anxious thoughts. Many people who suffer from anxiety disorders obsess over their worries. This can range from health concerns to job problems to global issues. Certain drugs, both recreational and medicinal, 
can cause anxiety symptoms as a result of side effects or withdrawal from the drug. Caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, cold remedies, and decongestants. Bronchodilators for asthma. Tricyclic antidepressants, cocaine, amphetamines, diet pills, ADHD medications, and thyroid medications are examples of such drugs. A poor diet, for example, low levels of vitamin B12, can also contribute to stress or anxiety. Performance anxiety is associated with specific situations, such as taking a test or giving a public presentation. Post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD is a type of stress disorder that occurs following a traumatic event such as war, physical or sexual assault, or a natural disaster. An adrenal gland tumor. Pheochromocytoma may cause anxiety in very rare cases. This is due to an overproduction of hormones that cause anxiety-related feelings and symptoms. While anxiety may appear to be frightening, what is even more frightening is that excessive anxiety and stress can lead to depression. As I am well aware, depression can be a lifelong struggle, but the good news is that it is all manageable. (music) 